Bristlebrush is a pretty incredible new artist tool in Illustrator that lets you create natural media types of looks with really rich overlaid colors, textures, and transparency. What it does is presents a set of brushes which actually mimic the behavior of real natural media brushes. You can set the size, the length, the number of bristles, etc., and create your own brushes very easily. I'm going to show you a little bit of how this really complex, rich, beautiful artwork was created, starting from a simple photograph that was live traced and then painted in using bristle brush. So here's the, a little bit closer to our starting point. A photograph was placed, live traced with about five different uh, levels of output to create these vector areas to, that we're going to go and fill in. And the artist started by painting in the lightest highlight, which is represented here in white. So I'm going to go turn that layer on and see what that looks like. And you can see that he went and created brush strokes, not very carefully, just going and roughly filling in this area. We're going to do the same thing with the layers above that. So I'm going to go and select the next uh, darker gray. And using my new draw inside mode here. I'm going to set that as the area that I'm going to mask. So I choose draw inside. I'll uh, turn off the fill so that we can see through this. And then go pick a color from my palette. And I'm going to pick up the next darker color. We're going to get darker and darker as we go away from the highlight on this body. And pick up one of my bristle brushes and just start painting. In fact, I'm going to switch to a different brush here Let's choose this um, larger fan brush. I'm not going to be too careful here. I'm just going to you know, do rough, very rough painting because I've already masked the area that I want using draw inside. Let me maybe make the brush size a little bit bigger by using the bracket key on my keyboard. And you can see that it, really quickly I'm building up some interesting textures and uh, color combinations. All right, let's go jump out of there and pick up the next layer. Choose this one and do draw inside again. Get rid of the fill color. Pick up a color that I want to fill it with. Let's go for this uh, kind of darker blue. We're getting towards the shadows. Make the brush size a little bit bigger. And again, go and start painting. So you can see that this is a technique is not really requiring uh, much skill in terms of drawing capability. I'm just selecting these areas that Live Trace has created for me and going and filling them in. I'm going to fast forward now to sort of midway through this painting, take a look at how it how it looks after creating uh, fills for a few more layers and adding some additional artwork on top of it. And you can see that it's really getting quite interesting already. If I fast forward again to the final piece, let's take a look at how this was created through the turning on and off the different layers. And you can see that different parts of this, as I showed you, were painted by using simply coloring with, uh, with this bristle brush in very rough ways to create a really, really beautiful final output. I think bristle brush is really one of the most uh, fascinating features for a, a lot of uh, artists in Illustrator. You'll be able to find to do things that previously could only be done in raster-based applications, and again, it's fully scalable vector artwork.